Hey guys, Dealcraft here, and we are back on the 12 week 26A, as you can see down here. We're just going to be going into a little single player, getting a preview of uh, what 1.3 is going to be about. Uh, if you haven't seen B00's Let's Play, his peep show, you should go check that out. Uh, or you can just watch this. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done, because 1.3 is going to be out really soon. Probably just going to record a few episodes here, and then it'll be out. So, let's go ahead and start this. Uh, let's do... 1.3 testing, uh, survival obviously, uh, default, bonus chest, what does that do? I don't know. Allow cheats off, generate structures on, um, let's go with dealcraft is the best. Done. Okay, create new world. So I'm hoping we're, uh, we're gonna get a pretty good spawn here, maybe some reeds so that we can work on enchanting. We'll also need a lot of cows for that though, so... Oh, looks like it's starting the server. Okay. I'm hoping we won't get too much lag here, because I'm already running two servers, as you know. Oh, this is not a very good spawn. You don't want to spawn in extreme hills. Or is this planes? I don't know. Let's, uh, we'll go ahead and just get the standard start going here, get some wood. No real need to explain this. If you're a Minecraft player, you know what I'm doing. But we're going to use the style that I usually do, and we're going to get our wood pick first, and then we're going to get a stone axe so that we can get as much wood as possible on the first day. Pro tip. Okay. Oh, let me get a nice spot to quarry some stone right over there. Let's go ahead and do that. We got some chickies, a zombie already. Wow, that was quick. Cool. Awesome. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and make our wood pick. Go down there, get some stone, and get that coal. And we'll come right back out. Hello, chicken. Hey, friend. How's it going? Are you kidding me? One piece of coal? Wow. Alright, great. Uh, in the deals gap, I have a bunch of... Uh, unsmelted gold and iron ore that I can smelt for EXP. So we'll be able to get tons of levels that way really easily. I think I have several stacks of each, so we're good to go in that regard. I think I might set up base over in that mountain. Alright, that should be good. Okay, and we've already nearly got a level 1. <laughs> Just from that. Save one of those for some charcoal. Make our stone tools. Okay, and I bigger, better get some more sticks so that I can make a sword. Alright, and we should be good to go. Don't have a shovel yet. Oh well. Moving right along. Okay. Oh, my, um... I don't have MC Patcher, so that's why these guys are looking all weird. Dang it, I didn't hit him. Oh, wow, you got some knockback. They changed your AI. Okay, everything looks so weird because I don't have MC Patcher. Because it has not been updated yet, and what is going on there? <laughs> Block update. Okay, there you go. Good water. Alright, so as you can see, it's quite buggy. Quite buggy indeed. Uh, this looks like some pretty cool terrain around here. So let's go ahead and get some more leaves. Or not leaves, trees. And we'll come back around. Alright, I should probably start killing these guys. What I've really been interested in is the enchantments. That would be nice. Get some uh, some leather, and some books. That's what I've really wanted to check out, but I haven't had much time to do so. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty uh, cool looking over there. Alright. Okay, so... Ooh, wow. <laughs> You're dead. Dropping me that leather. 
Awesome. Look at all them. God, there's like eight. <laughs> Can't complain. Need as much leather as possible. I wonder if the uh, the crafting recipe for bookshelves has changed. This is going to require a lot of leather. Luckily, in the, in the gap, I have my cow farm, and I already have a ton of leather, so. You all dead? Yep, slaughtered y'all. Ooh, look at all that coal. That's some EXP right there. Let's get this. Oh, hello, creeper. Hello. Yes, I see you. Please don't blow. And I also don't have any sound. I noticed that as soon as I logged in. Okay, he's down. Down and out. Strafe this guy. Because of the single player server, it's much harder to do mobs now. Like skeletons, it's just like in servers where if you if you run around a skeleton, they're still going to hit you regardless. Give me some EXP. That could have hit me right there, that arrow. <laughs> Would have been a smooth move. Alright, look at that, a level 6 already. Jeez. Alright, and now as far as the house goes, is this a good a area to build in? It doesn't really look it. I didn't... No, I've got everything on me. I don't, don't have to worry about anything. Alright, and there's a zombie. Kill that guy. Alright, lots of lighting bugs. Don't get me wrong, I love lightning bugs, but just not lightning bugs. There we go. Give me that chicken flesh. I'd like to build into the side of a mountain to make it easier on myself. Getting really lucky with the animals. More of those lighting bugs. I don't want to go down there, I can't see anything. Um... Maybe just right into there will work. Looks like a good area. Alright, so we'll have it go like this. Then I'll see if I can have it go down a ways. Just to uh, make sure we don't end up above ground at any point. Great, gravel. Awesome. Most beloved thing in this game. I need to get the fern eye going. Okay. There we go. Run these chicken. Oh, maybe I should run these instead. Okay. So we'll continue on down here. What level are we at? We are at 68. Oh, look, and it only rounds to the first five numbers. Though I think it would have been much easier if they would have just done, like, one number, but oh well. We're at 68, so we're still way above sea level. Alright, let's get a shovel going. Take up some of this gravel. How are we doing on the daylight? That is going down. Alright. Oh, sheep. This has been a really good first day. Gotten tons of food. Alright, we've got three sheep right here. Four. Awesome. Oh, dying of hunger. Better kill these guys before I go back in. Come on. And there will be some nice cow flesh waiting for me. I just have to make it back over there. Maybe I'll just eat one of these. That's fine. Just can't die. Alright, and I should be sitting still for the next 20 seconds. Okay. We'll just wait it off. Awesome. Possum. Okay, so we'll get more wood going. Then I will get the chests... Alright. Let's eat a couple of these. Oh. Little server glitch there. In single player. How great is that?
That is a lot of gravel. Yeah, that really is a lot of gravel. Jeez. Look at that. It's just a tower of freaking gravel. And it takes forever to break because Java has to run the check that will determine if it's flint or not. There we go. Okay, maybe I should do a little scouting before it becomes night. Just see what's over there on the horizon. Plenty of food, so there's no need to worry about that. Could kill some more sheepies. Level 9 enchantment. We got a desert over here. Now, it would be cool if we could get some villages. That would be sweet. And a forest. This is really freaking lucky, guys. And look at all the sheep. Man, it's a milby paradise. Okay, well, we'll wait out the night by sleeping, obviously. Then we'll come out here. We'll check out the desert. Okay. And I believe if I type, like, that, awesome. So I can actually go back in the chat logs and find my coordinates. So what we're going to do... Let's go like this. This is smart, and it's very easy. 120, uh, 400. There we go. Now we know exactly where our house is. Perfect. I'm a genie, I know. This is at 65. Let's go ahead and go to 64 just to be safe. We started out way above sea level. We'll get a rear, uh, rear, <laughs> a real temporary area set up here, and we'll work on it more as we get better tools. Okay. So let's get everything that I don't need set up in here. Gonna need that. That. All right, and I should go ahead and make another sword. Torches and small amount of food. Okay, guys, we should be good to go. Except I haven't slept yet, so that'll be a problem. Oh, yeah, you don't have to press Shift F3 anymore. Nice. They removed the frickin' the bug meter. One, two, three. Okay. Now we should be ready to go. We could even sleep outside under the stars. Then again, I don't really want my bed there, so... Just do it right there. Okay, now we have our coordinates. Sweet, and we are good for another adventure. So let's go outside and check for our villages. Kill any more animal animals. <laughs> animals. Any more aminals that we come across, we're going to slay those too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Get these guys. Lots of seeds. The creeper. The green peni is coming for us. Don't blow up my beautiful terrain. You just got pwned. Anyway. Alright, so this is like a cross between plains, desert, and forest. What biome is this? Yeah, this is plains. What the heck? It's literally like a 10 by 30 area of plains. Alright, so we got a lot of grass around here that we can use for our wheat. And then I believe you can trade wheat with villagers uh, to get emeralds. Which we then may be able to trade for some diamond tools. Alright, so let's go check around in the desert and see if we can find anything useful. Getting lag as it loads up all the new chunks. Oh, there's more planes over there. I don't know why we would even need those. Might be some more villages in there though. Instead of the desert kind. Alright, so we'll do some exploring for the entire day. Keep things interesting. We might find some of those pyramids. Or we could get lucky and find a desert village. 
Okay, so I'm not seeing anything. What render am I on? Uh, yeah. Normal. Okay. Was I on moody lighting? No, I was on bright. I don't even know. <laughs> Getting tons of lag. Don't know why. It's all sand. Doesn't really have to render much. There's our reeds already. This is going swimmingly. Alright, as he swims across the river, it is going swimmingly. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're already on our way to getting our bookshelves. There's a well, I think. Is that a village or just the well? I don't know. Wait, where was I? Oh, okay. I'm getting lots of frame stutter. Which I shouldn't be, like I said, on a 6870. That should never happen, but it does anyway. Darn it, it's just one of those stupid wells. <laughs> okay, I don't really like jungles. Even though I know there's some useful stuff in here now. Let's look and uh, quickly see if we can get any cocoa plants. That would be a good source of food. What is that purple thing? What is that? Is that a cocoa bean? It appears to be. Oh yeah, it's because it doesn't have a texture. Okay, so these glow purple. Great. So we've got these guys now. And I, I'm not sure if I have to have the jungle wood or not. But just to be safe, we're going to gather up some of these guys. Okay. What is that white thing that I just saw? Oh, it's chicken. <laughs> Give me your flesh, chicken. Give me your flesh, cow. And your leather. Broke the sword. Alright, so we just got the one bean. But I feel like we should go ahead and tear down some more of these trees. What biome is that? Looks like more extreme hills. Okay. So we'll tear down the midsection of this poor tree. I can't remember how you make cookies. I don't know what that entails. I know it involves cocoa beans. Because that's a huge help. Okay. There we go. Get all of these guys. This will also just be some extra wood. And I can use for building. There we go. Alright, I'm not sure what time of day it is, but I don't think it's been long since we slept. But I would rather head into the desert. Head back into the desert. Don't really want to look for one of those jungle things. I don't know if there's that much that's valuable in there. I know there's gold. But other than that, I mean, gold isn't even that valuable as far as I know. I guess we'll do a quick check around here. See if I see anything. We do have some more cocoa beans, which is lucky, and some more reeds down there, so I'll get those. Gotta gather all the resources I can, and I cannot wait for Faithful to be updated, because I love this texture pack. Let's just grab these and head back into the desert. Okay, ooh. Random pits of no block update. Random little cave there. Okay, so let's check my direction arism. Negative 120. So I'm headed the right direction. I actually walked a long way. 
You don't realize it when you're just walking along. Alright, I have plenty of food. I don't have to worry about sprinting. Okay. What is my... My X is 400. So how am I in relation to that? I need to head this way. In a diagonal formation. I'm wondering if I leave this as a response to uh, B00's peep show, if he'll accept it as a video response. That would be cool, but I don't know. Am I right over there? Pretty sure I am. Wait. 400? No, I need to head this way quite a bit. Still haven't seen any trace of a desert village or a pyramid. So I'm thinking the next step might be to go ahead and traverse that jungle after I've gotten everything sorted out and we have a fresh day. Go ahead and sprint over there. And we have more reeds, which is awesome. So let's get all of these guys. Gimme. You're mine. Whoa, that was a weird lighting bug. It looked like it was just a deep pit. <laughs> and I'm betting that we are right over there. Just on the edge of the desert. Maybe we'll get our house sorted out, look for some iron. Maybe go caving. This has been a really awesome first episode, guys. I think I'm going to enjoy this series. And when the update actually does come out, I think what I'm going to be doing is just continuing this. Uh, just with the same world, and hopefully not much will change, so that all I get is the bug fixes. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more stuff set up in here. Gonna need a few more picks. As I find some iron really soon. Alright, I think I'm going to get this cleared out, and then we'll, we'll start adventuring in the jungle on the next episode. Guys, um, I didn't really enjoy Sunken Island single player. That's why I didn't do more of that. Nobody really seemed to question it, so I just didn't uh, really tell anybody why I did that. I think it was implied. I didn't, I didn't enjoy that first episode. I thought it was going to be way too hard. And it wouldn't be something I would enjoy recording, because it's hard uh, to play adventure maps with lower frame rates. Like when I'm playing, I, I usually like to play at 60. But oftentimes, Fraps is limiting my FPS to 30. You know, most of the time, like when I'm, when I'm not recording, I'll easily get 1100 plus FPS. But when I start recording, it's immediately dropping me down to 90, then 60, then 30. And then it just gets stuck there, so I don't know if that's a Fraps issue or a... An issue with my GPU drivers. But that's why I stopped. Get the bench out. Oh, no pick. And <laughs> just start punching the wall with my fist. Okay, so we're getting plenty of cobble. And that's good. Having a good time. Reference. Okay, so I want to have this actually be quite big. So that we have plenty of room to do things. Alright. And I'll move the bed around once it becomes night. We might be getting close already, I don't know. This pick is slow. We should definitely do some mining. You know what? Let's put aside the house and do that for a little bit. Three, four, five, six. Okay, which side do I want to do the mine on? Maybe... I'll do it on this side. Okay. 
All right. I put a, yeah, I can put blocks right there. Okay. Well, guys, I think maybe after I find some iron, we'll go ahead and cut it. And I'm hoping as I'm tunneling down, we will actually find some. Not used to picks this slow. I don't want to go all the way to bedrock without finding any iron. That would be rather disappointing. I'll set a goal for myself, and that is once we find iron, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Cut the episode. I don't know if you guys have noticed anything, but I've been rendering my videos in a bitrate of 6,000 kilobits per second. And I think that made a difference as far as quality goes. I don't know. There is something very wrong with the way I've been rendering my videos. And I don't know what it is. But it, I wonder if it has something to do with my texture pack. Guys, what I'm going to do, just for comparison, let's go ahead and... Oop, no, what I wanted, texture packs. I'm going to go to the default for the rest of the episode. And let me know if you notice anything different about uh, the way the game looks. This looks really weird after having played on a 32x pack. But I don't know if it is the texture pack. Maybe if I'm running in a higher texture pack, I have to render in like 12,000. Because the resolution is double. I guess that would sort of make sense. I don't know what the rules are as far as that goes. We found our iron. Alright, but the game looks way better from my perspective, like when I'm playing it, than after I render the video. And other people don't seem to have this problem. Like it doesn't happen to them when they render. So I don't know what causes that, but... There we go, there's our iron friend. Let's cover this up. Okay. We are good to go, guys. See you later. Dealcraft, signing out.